Welcome to Tech Blueprint, a window that lets you know the latest technology news in the world. When it comes to competition in the chip industry, many people's first reaction is the dominance of giants such as TSMC and Samsung. But recently, a statement by Dick Thurston, former legal counsel of TSMC, shocked the industry. He said that Chinese chip companies have achieved a breakthrough in 7 nanometers technology and are expected to conquer 5 nanometers in the near future. As soon as this statement came out, it directly ignited the discussion in the chip circle. Is the US technology blockade still effective? Has the opportunity for China's chips to turn around really arrived? The current situation of Chinese chips can be said to be challenges and opportunities coexist. In the past few years, the breakthrough of 7 nanometers technology is undoubtedly a highlight. Although SMIC's 7 nanometers process still relies on multiple exposure technology, it has a gap in efficiency and yield compared with TSMC's EUV lithography process. But being able to achieve 7 nanometers process under extremely limited conditions is already a huge progress. Especially in the case of strict restrictions on the export of EUV lithography machines in the United States, this homemade steelmaking, research, and development of multiple exposures is even more significant. Many people may not be familiar with the term multiple exposure. Simply put, this is to make up for the lack of hardware with higher technology density in the absence of the most advanced lithography equipment. Just like using an ordinary brush to draw a high-precision work of art, although the efficiency is a little worse, the result is just as amazing. Behind this is the efforts of SMIC and Liang Mingsung's team. From the success of 7 nanometers to the next 5 nanometers goal, Chinese chip companies have shown signs of moving from following to running side by side. However, breaking through 7 nanometers is only the first step. The next 5 nanometers challenge is more like a tough battle. There are not only technical difficulties here, but also pressures on cost and efficiency. Although multiple exposure technology can solve the problem in the short term, the cost and production capacity of manufacturing 5 nanometers chips using this method may be daunting. The reason why TSMC and Samsung can lead in 5 nanometers technology is that they have EUV lithography machines, which are far more efficient and accurate than multiple exposure technology. Faced with such a technological gap, Chinese chip companies may need more innovation to achieve breakthroughs. In addition, chip manufacturing is not a single event that can be won by process technology alone. Chip packaging, high bandwidth memory, HBM, and other technologies are also unavoidable thresholds. Take high bandwidth memory as an example. This is a key technology that supports high-performance computing and advanced AI chips. China's accumulation in this area is still relatively weak. TSMC is not only ahead in process technology, but also far ahead of its competitors in packaging technology. This is the direction that Chinese chip companies need to catch up in the future. Of course, technological breakthroughs are only one aspect. The integrity of the industrial chain and the matching of production capacity are also problems that the Chinese chip industry needs to solve. Chip manufacturing is not a single fight in the laboratory, but a huge industrial ecosystem. 
From equipment to materials, to processes, every link needs matching support. Taking 7 nanometers chips as an example, SMIC's mass production scale is still limited, and TSMC is already supplying large quantities to customers such as Apple and Qualcomm. How to truly transform breakthrough technology into stable production capacity is a huge test. But don't ignore the potential of China's chip industry. In recent years, China has been very fast in the chip field, whether in terms of policy support or capital investment. At the policy level, the investment of the National Big Fund has covered the entire industrial chain, including chip design, manufacturing, and packaging and testing. In the capital market, the financing and listing of chip-related companies are booming, which also provides a solid foundation for technology research and development. More importantly, China's market demand itself has great appeal. Whether it is smartphones, automotive chips, or AI computing, these fields have provided soil for the vigorous development of domestic chips. Let's go back to the original question, can Chinese chips really achieve a technological breakthrough? The answer may not be that simple. From a technical point of view, the possibility of breaking through 7 nanometers, or even 5 nanometers, is already very high. But to achieve industrialization and truly shake the position of TSMC and Samsung, it will take time and accumulation. The US technology blockade is still a huge stumbling block, but it is also because of this pressure that the Chinese chip industry has a stronger motivation for independent research and development. If a comprehensive breakthrough in process technology and related technologies can be achieved in the next few years, Chinese chips may really have a chance to occupy a place in the global market. Perhaps, this race against time and technology is not simply a challenge to the United States, but an opportunity for the Chinese chip industry to find its own position. After all, chips are not only a symbol of a country's technological strength, but also closely related to the lives of each of us. From mobile phones to cars, from AI to the Internet of Things, every breakthrough in chips may make our world faster, smarter and better. What do you think about this? Welcome to interact with me in the comment area.